Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we're delving into the art of negotiation with insights from the book Never Split the Difference by Chris Voss. Whether you're negotiating in business, relationships, or everyday life, these principles can help you become a master negotiator. Before we dive in, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss out on our future content. Now, let's get started. Overview of Never Split the Difference. For those unfamiliar, Never Split the Difference is a book written by Chris Voss, a former FBI hostage negotiator. In this video, we'll explore key lessons from the book that can empower you in negotiations and help you get what you want without compromising. Let's jump into it. Lesson 1. Tactical Empathy The first lesson is about tactical empathy. Voss emphasizes the importance of understanding the emotions and perspectives of the other party. Imagine negotiating with someone, whether it's in business, personal matters, or any situation where you're trying to reach an agreement. Tactical empathy involves putting yourself in the other person's shoes, understanding their feelings, and acknowledging their point of view. By showing empathy, you build rapport and create a more collaborative atmosphere, making it easier to find mutually beneficial solutions. Lesson 2. Mirroring. Lesson number two is mirroring. Voss teaches the power of repeating the last few words your counterpart said. Here's how it works. Let's say you're in a conversation and the other person says, I'm not sure if we can agree on the timeline for this project. Instead of immediately responding, you mirror by repeating a part of what they just said, like agree on the timeline. This subtle technique encourages the other party to open up and share more information, giving you valuable insights that can be used to your advantage. Lesson three, labeling. Lesson 3 introduces the concept of labeling. By putting a name to the emotions or concerns the other party is expressing, you demonstrate understanding and help diffuse tension. For example, if the other person seems frustrated or hesitant, you might label it by saying, it seems like you're feeling frustrated about the current situation. Is that accurate? Now, why is this effective? Labeling demonstrates a deep level of understanding. It shows the other party that you are attuned to their emotions and concerns. When people feel understood, they are often more willing to collaborate. It's a strategic way to address issues and move the negotiation forward. Lesson 4. The Accusation Audit Next up, we have the Accusation Audit. Voss suggests instead of waiting for the other person to bring up problems, you jump in and address concerns before they become a big deal. For example, let's say you're selling something and you think the other person might be concerned about the price. You could say, I understand you might be thinking this is a bit pricey. It's a big decision. Let's talk about why it's worth it. This way, you can stop problems before they start and keep things on the right track. Lesson 5. Calibrated Questions Lesson 5 focuses on calibrated questions. Instead of asking yes or no questions, Voss recommends using open-ended questions that encourage the other party to share more information. For example, instead of asking, did you like the proposal, which could get a one-word answer, you could ask, what are your thoughts on the proposal? What stands out to you? This approach helps you gather valuable details and maintain control of the conversation. Lesson 6. The Rule of Three Moving on to Lesson 6, we have the rule of three. Voss suggests getting the other party to agree to the same thing three times. Let's say you're finalizing a project timeline. You could confirm, so we've agreed on completing phase one by the end of next month, right? They confirm. Later, you might say, great, and we're on the same page about starting phase two immediately after, correct? They confirm again. Finally, you could say, just to clarify, we're both committed to finishing the entire project within the next three months, yes? This repetition creates a sense of commitment and increases the likelihood of a successful resolution. Lesson 7. Establishing a Black Swan Anchor Voss teaches us to present an extreme, unexpected scenario to reset the negotiation dynamics. Let's say you're negotiating a deadline for a project. You might say, what if we had to get this done by next week? What would it take to make that happen? This technique can lead the other party to reconsider their stance and become more open to compromise. Lesson 8. The Power of Silence The most effective move is saying nothing at all. If you present an offer and the other person doesn't immediately respond, rather than jumping in to sweeten the deal, let the silence work its magic. Silence can be a powerful tool to encourage the other party to reveal more information or make concessions. Lesson 9. Bargaining as if your life depends on it. In Lesson 9, Voss encourages us to adopt the mindset of bargaining as if your life depends on it. Now, before you think negotiations are a life-or-death matter, let's break down what Chris Voss really means by this mindset. Bargaining as if your life depends on it is about approaching negotiations with intensity and urgency, even if the stakes aren't life-or-death. 
Voss suggests that adopting this high-stakes mindset can give you a competitive edge in the negotiation process. Lesson 10. Never split the difference. And finally, the mantra of the book, never split the difference. In simple terms, the phrase never split the difference refers to not settling down with less than what you intended to when negotiating. Voss says you don't have to compromise. Instead, if you use smart negotiation tricks, you can find solutions that make both sides happy without splitting the difference. There you have it, valuable lessons from Never Split the Difference that can elevate your negotiation skills. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it with others, and let us know in the comments which lesson resonated with you the most. Thank you for watching this video, and until next time, bye. For more insights on personal development, business, and success, check out our other videos. Don't forget to subscribe, and remember, the more you learn, the more you earn. See you in the next one.